Hello, my awesome Pisces. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. Happy Sunday, Pisces. I missed you guys. So let's do this. You want a soulmate reading, we're going to do that. Whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not, we're going to see what's going on with them. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Pisces. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally, and what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling, as far as you are concerned. Let's do this, Pisces. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, What's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? What is coming towards Pisces? Wow. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Love, love, love. So you're in love with somebody deeply. Uh, Ace of Cups, hidden love. So love that you haven't shown to this person or expressed to them fully. How much they mean to you emotionally so you keep it hidden for now and it's heavily on your mind because it's showing up in position one so there's somebody you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but could be any sign whatsoever wow <clears throat> you are showing up here as empress having high standards morals self-respect dignity beautiful energy to describe you you want to manifest this love in a relationship. Um, yeah, you want to have a relationship. Some of you may know them from work or through work. You're trying to figure out what it is they're doing, <clears throat> meaning uh, they kind of wishy-washy. They're not consistent with you. So... They watching you though. This person is watching you maybe at your job or your business. Um, hmm. This is them. We didn't even ask about them yet, but you heavily thinking of this person. That's why they're showing up already in your energy. They don't know. They feel at a crossroads, unable to make a decision how to approach you, what to do, what to say. I am very curious to see what will clarify these two um of wands um we didn't even ask about them yet and they already showing up in your reading universe please show us what's coming towards pisces what will pisces be uh dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good this is you <clears throat> um They're showing up here as kind of immature in their actions, not consistent. You see? You see the difference between you two? You're showing up as an empress. They're showing up as a page. Yeah. Problems with communication. You are suffering because this person does not communicate effectively, consistently. It's like you have to guess things, which is not good. You shouldn't have to guess things. This person is immature. <clears throat> but <clears throat> they want you to view them as an emperor. Yeah, that's how they want you to view them. But they really a page. They're very inconsistent. <clears throat> yeah, you see? Very wishy-washy person. <sighs> My God. Um, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody who is very immature and wishy-washy. Let me see. <sighs> My God. Yeah. The, you have more question marks in your head than you have answers. You have a lot of questions, but no answers. You are feeling drained. Like you don't know where this is leading. They don't know either. They're pretty much clueless. <clears throat> They're watching you, observing you. They would like to manifest something here, but 
this person loves you quietly so you both feel the same feelings for each other ace of cups ace of cups from two different tarot decks <clears throat> but this person is not telling you either but they want to approach you they do this person has been through a lot of heartbreak they're very cautious careful yeah they're still healing from heartbreak from the uh, that they sustained in other relationships wow this person is watching you stalker type they, they stalking you but not in a dangerous way let's see what's going on with them in pisces this person is very heavily on your mind so let's see wow seven of swords with eight of swords this person is very scared of showing yeah you see look at all these swords seven of swords eight of swords four of swords with three of swords right above their head so this person has been through enormous uh, amounts of heartbreak that they haven't healed from they're very scared of commitment very scared of love very scared of relationships let's see what's going on with them in relation to you universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of pisces for Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces. What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces, especially in the month of October? Emotionally. How is the soulmate emotionally relating to Pisces? What's on their mind? What's, what are they feeling, thinking? <clears throat> very strong extra message wants to come out they're spying on you heavily this is a stalker type because the spy craft card is showing up in position one so this person is a stalker type but they're not dangerous they just feeling yeah you see you showing up as a queen they showing up as a page again so this person is immature shy uh cautious overly cautious um they view you as um loving nurturing giving generous uh, grounded uh, independent wow they feel so alone when they don't see you when they don't communicate with you they feel empty alone yeah this person intends they intend to uh, come in with something more solid some kind of more stable energy towards you but they extremely slow this person is very slow to action so pisces it's very important to understand not for you not to put your life on hold for this person uh don't wait by the phone live your life go on with your life as usual because this person is going to be very slow yes they who they do have good intentions towards you but they're very immature in their actions in their communication they're not consistent and um they're very slow to action so they're going to take their sweet time so make sure you do not put your life on hold for this person yeah very shy again showing us a page 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 and the other one was page of wands this person is very shy to showing uh, uh emotions um yeah you showing up as very mature they showing up as immature but let me see let's see clarification universe what's going on with the soulmate of pisces how is the soulmate of pisces uh, relating to Pisces especially emotionally and what's on the mind yeah, so they feel like they they met somebody that's very important to them they they uh, have placed you on a pedestal you're very important to them wow you're bringing major transformation to their life you are the catalyst in their life it's like you are waking them up from some deep sleep where they just didn't want to believe in relationships, love. Um, yeah, you're bringing major change to their life, whether you're aware of it or not. Some of you may be dealing with Scorpio. 
Leo also Taurus. Hmm. Yeah. This person uh, wants to bring you a solid offer in, but they're slow. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. They're spying on you heavily. They have been and will continue to spy on you, check up on you to see what you're up to, keep tabs on you. Yeah, you see, this person is healing from heartbreak. So you're helping this person, believe it or not. You're helping this person uh, heal from some kind of great disappointments in their life. Yeah, you see, this is how they want to be viewed by you as emperor, but they're not an emperor, trust me. They are a page at this time, but that's okay. They do have potential, just like anybody else. Uh, they do have a potential, but uh, the reason why the universe is showing them to you as a page continuously is because uh, their actions are very immature, inconsistent. Their communication is inconsistent. So they're not uh, dependable. They want you to view them as an emperor, though. They want to be that emperor in your life, but they need to put work into this. It's not just going to happen on its own. Um, this person is very attractive. Uh, yeah, they are important at their job, so they are accomplished, whether they have their own business or work somewhere else. <laughs> this person is doing well for themselves. Uh, but they wishy-washy. Yeah, this person may be spying on you uh, at, through your job somehow or met them or met you through your job. Yeah, you see, they're inconsistent. So right now they wishy-washy, inconsistent, not grounded, not reliable. They know that in order for you to take them seriously, they have to show up with this consistent energy. Hmm. Let me clarify that extra energy page of... So they keep showing up as page. Yeah, they're not reliable right now, not consistent, but they have potential just like anybody else. If they choose to take it that way, it's up to them really. Ultimately, it's up to them whether they put work into this or not. Universe, please show us clarification page of cups on the soulmate of Pisces. They're spying on you. So a lot of them see you at your job or their job, or maybe both of you met through your job somehow, but they able to check up on you through your job or business somehow. Yeah, they, they really watching, observing you, analyzing you, studying you. Hmm, stalker. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, this person wants to take action. So finally, they're showing up as a king. Thank you, Lord. So they know they need to take action. But they're quiet. They're not consistent with communication. But when they're quiet, giving you silent treatment, uh, or not communicating too much, uh, they're not just sitting there doing nothing. This person is uh, very introspective, analyzing the situation, analyzing the connection they have with you emotionally and spiritually. So they're doing some kind of inner work. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, this is a warning. This person has very strong sexual desires towards you. The devil with the wants, wants and wants. This person wants... Uh, uh, sexual relationship with you. So it's very important you remember, Pisces, that your love needs to be earned. You can't just give yourself away like this for a physical relationship. This person needs to prove themselves that they're worthy of you, show you uh, their emotions, feelings. Some kind of commitment needs to be expressed. They can't just come in for one night stand, two night stand. So be very careful what you allow them to get away with because this person is wanting to have a sexual relationship with you, which is fine if they show you commitment, 
feelings, love, emotions. But if that's all they're willing to show you at this time, no, that's not good enough for you. You would lose respect for yourself and they would lose respect for you as well. Nevertheless, they want to have a cake and eat it too, at least for now. So <clears throat> we're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces, and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time, especially in the month of October and towards the end of the year. Anything they're hiding from you at this time, Pisces, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate at this time for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job, opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.